just briefly on gigantism, there'll be more giants to talk about once we get into the Nostradamus predictions. Mm. But um, just a couple things. And what I'm going to say here shouldn't really be a surprise to anyone because it's spring training and the first half of of the um, of the season. But Rodon has looked really good for the Giants, right? <laughs> Uh, we've seen it before. we've seen it before and uh you know he looks so good that speaking of, of, of socks type things like or after cueto got signed it was like rodan would sure look good in <laughs> in in uh white Sox uniform right now and i and i that's when that's what caused me to go look up cueto's numbers and it's like okay cueto started two less games than <laughs> rodan last year mm-hmm. you know and probably average close to the same amount of innings i think rodan was six but whatever so not the same production of course not the but... same production of course because rodan was lights out at times Cy young candidate at one point so yeah um so far so good hey you know what if it turns out that he pitches a full season and pitches great for the giants good for me too yeah um i don't yeah, it works that. out well for you either it, way yeah um so Anyway, I just wanted to, to bring that up because it's it's uh, you know it's kind of it's kind of funny and but it's to be expected. I don't know why anyone would think he would be pitching badly, acting like wow, Rodon's looked really good right now. Well, of course he has. He looked really right. good last year at this time too. So yeah, his velocity's um, up to ninety eight again. Yeah, and, I mean yeah. he had months to recoup. That's that's what exactly. he does. Exactly. So maybe if he pitches April, takes May off, pitches June takes july off you know maybe those maybe that's the way to, to have him fresh for the playoffs but in more funny news during the baseball draft uh because it was the baseball draft and the thrilling ncaa tournament had not started yet we had some spring training baseball on and right before our eyes we almost couldn't believe how comical it was it was spring training it was the seventh inning something we know is a bad thing for craig kimbrell but the Dodgers against the Giants rolled Kev Craig Kimbrell out to the mound. First time we've seen him since since he's been since uh, the trade. out of a White Sox uniform. And a uh, thing to note, the Giants, uh, from a hitting standpoint, haven't uh, stopped hitting still uh, leading through spring training. And things didn't change for Craig yeah. Kimbrell. No, he decided to let up four straight hits that included two homers and uh, three earned runs. One was a solo shot to the heir apparent to one Buster Posey, Joey Bart. He just mm. he really crushed that ball. That was a that was a no doubter. Potential um, rookie of the year candidate. Yes, I, I believe he let up a total of five hits and recorded one out before being <laughs> pulled in the seventh inning. So well, just like you remembered it, it, was, it was definitely how I remember Craig Kimbrell's. Well, he wasn't in the ninth inning. He should but he was in the ninth, ninth inning. Again. What inning was so, that? Seventh? The seventh. Yeah, the seventh. Oh, so. Of course, you and it's able spring to training. It. But I just thought it was worth bringing up because it's it's just kind of fucking funny. So. <laughs> Media.